now this is rbc pipette and this is wbc pipette now what are this rbc and wbc pipettes they are two glass capillary pipettes they are used for dilution of blood pipette is used to dilute the blood with suitable fluid in an accurate known proportion as rbcs are more numerous than wbcs and therefore they require more dilution now pipette has a long narrow stem this is stem part it is for measuring blood it has a bulb for diluting the blood and it has a rubber tube and mouthpiece now starting with parts this is a stem part it is long narrow and it has a capillary bore and well grounded conical tip you can see here it is divided into 10 equal parts but it has only two numbers here in rbc pipette the numbers are 0.5 and 1 this 0.5 is present on the middle of the stem and one that is at the junction of stem and bulb now next part is bulb the stem widens into bulb which contains a free rolling bead you can see here red color bead is there inside when i move you can see the bead moving okay in rbc pipette we have red bead and in wbc pipette you can see color of bead is white it's rolling you can see now what is the use of this bead the bead helps in mixing the blood as well as it helps in quick identification of the pipette as we have discussed red bead in the rbc pipette and white bead in the wbc pipette it also gives us idea about whether the pipette is dry or not bead rolls freely you can see here when the pipette is dry just beyond the bulb number 101 is there in the rbc pipette you can see here this is 101 it is written in the rbc pipette so in the rbc pipette the markings are you can see 0.5 1 and 101 whereas in the wbc pipette markings are 0.5 1 and 11 just i'll show you. this is 11 okay why is it so as we have discussed rbcs are more numerous than wbcs and they require more dilution now next part of the pipette is rubber tube and mouthpiece now the bulb narrows again into a short stem here this is the short stem to which there is a long narrow soft rubber tube bearing mouthpiece this mouthpiece is also red in rbc pipette you can see and white in the wbc pipette length of the rubber tube is about 25 to 30 cm and it facilitates feeling of the pipette by gentle suction now principle underlying use of diluting pipette it is important to understand that numbers they are marked on the pipette as we have discussed in the rbc pipette the numbers as we have seen 0.5 1 and 101 so here this numbers they do not indicate absolute or definite amount or volume in terms like there is no unit like cubic millimeter or microliter okay this is one of the mistake which is made by student this figures they only indicate relative values the values they are present in relation to each other so you can say the volume is 0.5 means it is half the volume from the tip to the mark 0.5 and one volume from the tip to one here 101 means tip to the 101 
Now, other uses of pipette. RBC pipette is used mainly for the RBC count. Also, it is used for counting platelets, WBCs, when the count is very high, like in some leukemia. As well as, it is also used for the spermatozoa, sperm count in semen. WBC pipette is used for counting RBC in case of severe anemia. Also, it is used for the platelet count, sperm count and bacteria. Third variety of pipette that is not in the hemocytometer but we are using it that is hemoglobin pipette. You can see here it has no bead. It has only stem part and the marking is only single marking of 20 microliter. You can see here this is 20 microliter is there in the hemoglobin pipette and it is used to get the blood for hemoglobin estimation. So this is about all three pipettes. Thank you.